Oh, it smells great. Remember to go easy on the... Uh... Spices. I know who I'm dealing with here. Relax. Carne guisada Puerto Rican, yeah? And tostones. Ah. Ever had them? Still got them. This poor bull on the other hand. <laughs> They're plantains, Mike. A plant. Oh, those tostones. Talking to them. Yeah, it's okay. I got nothing better to do after a 12 hour shift. What is it? They're gonna run me in or what? They know even you aren't dumb enough to assault an old man and leave your business card. It's just going through the motions. Anyway, I got an alibi. That's what I heard. Although, as, as a rule, I don't count girlfriends as ironclad alibis. My hat got busted into. It must be wherever. Hold it. I just called Liz your girlfriend and you didn't say anything. Boom, boom, boom. This thing on? I just called him as your girlfriend. Marcellus, this whole guy just got beaten. And I'm being set up for it. Why? You tell me. You're a cop. You got no shortage of enemies. Anyone in particular leap to mind? Yeah. Then we got a long way to go. myself chopping all that up. You want to at least look at it before you inhale it? You sure again? You gonna adopt him? No. Senor Gato isn't ready to settle down. I feed him, he leaves. He's a heartbreaker. I'm a sucker for him. You done with the police? Yeah, it was nothing. They found a card of mine at a crime scene. Ask some questions. That's it? Yeah. Why? paper made it sound like a bigger deal. The paper? Yeah, it says some poor old security guard was brutally attacked. While no suspects have been taken into custody, a source said physical evidence at the crime scene may link controversial Philadelphia cab driver Michael Olshansky to the assault. Let me see that. Thought you said you're not a suspect. I'm not. Source said. Who's this source? Started making a list. 
list of who I pinched who was screwing up enough to do something like this. Who did you come up with? I was a cop almost 20 years. I've got writer's credit. Yeah, Liz is all worried about you. She wants me to keep an eye on you. Oh, she wants you to keep an eye on me? Yeah. Well, that's a hot one. So what's the deal? What's what? <laughs> you and her. There's no deal. Oh, God, there's a deal? You should have heard her voice on the phone. It was all maternal and everything. There's no deal. <laughs> OK, well, take it from someone who's seen many shrinks. You're in denial. Well, take it from someone who could kick your ass. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, fine. I just don't want you to blow it. That's all. I'll be fine. But since when do I take advice from you? Now. Oh, now. Yeah, no, let's go. Right now. Come on, right now. You want me to come over there? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'll come in over there. I'm bigger over than there. you. Let's <laughs> I don't see you doing anything. <laughs> I was caught in an assault case. He gave me a call about something that came up in the evidence week. <sighs> yep. I've been driving fares all morning. You can check the dispatch. Well, hang on, Mike. Nobody figures you for this. But this is twice in the last 12 hours. This woman almost died. I called a reporter, wrote that story in the paper. He didn't know who the source was. So then he printed a part about the cops talking to me. Mm -hmm. But the source knew a lot about me. What I'd be doing that day, what my alibi would be. Someone's going through a lot of trouble to bring you down. The hell with bringing me down? People are getting hurt here. OK, you think anything we can go on, you let me know. All right. Oh, hey, I heard you. Uh... You got a new gig as a respectable, productive member of society. That's that's real commendable. I know you. The old trouble you went through to put me away. Yeah, you better believe you know me. But what's more important is I know you. Well, what do you want? Well, see, I, I got out of prison. I wanted to renew our acquaintance. You're looking good, Oshansky. Better than a couple years ago when the world was coming down around your ears. Yeah, I guess, uh, Honesty must agree with you. Janik. Danny Janik. Well, imagine running to you near a crime scene. Oh, this is a crime scene? Yeah, imagine. It took me a minute, but it came to me. Drug dealer we busted six years ago. Who is it? Janik. Janik. Mikey's one of the ones that we eat. That's right. OK. He say anything else? No. But he's not making a courtesy call. You got to put a tail on him. Because you know he's mixed up in these attacks. I don't know that. And I don't have anything near close enough to order a tail. But the very fact that he's back, this isn't good. We didn't have to do this, you know. What are you talking about? You've got a lot going on, right? I know what's going on right now is... Here's dinner. With my very beautiful next-door neighbor. It's funny. You don't go out on date dates. Yeah, but this is nice, though, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. I've never dated the guy next door before. Wow. You and I have seen each other in our sweats. We watch Sports Center. You've seen me cry. It's like. We know each other. Are you overthinking things again? Sir? Yeah. Oh, we didn't order champagne. No, sir. It's compliments of that gentleman for the happy couple.
Stay out of my life, Janet. Damn it. Please, we know each other so well, Mike. What the hell are you trying to do? Well, I want everybody to know you the way that I know you. Uh -huh. And how is that? Corrupt and dangerous. I guess you didn't know this, uh, but after you sent me away, my mom sank into a depression, died of a heart attack. The wife left me. Get about seeing the kids. I don't even know where they are. Yeah, you did it up right, Mike. So when I see you sitting out there with your girl, it looks like a nice piece of ass, but I don't... I read all this crap about, about you being some kind of a hero, and about how you turned your life around after you were fired off the force. We both know that's crap, don't we, Mike? Hero? I paid for what I did. So you can't escape what you are. It's over. It ain't over. Not for either one of us. Not by a long shot. You don't want to screw with me. You don't. Ah, jangles of nerves. Not as much as the guy in the restaurant did. Well, he didn't get to me. You think he got to me? I'd kind of like to know why. Well, there's nothing to tell. Where, when, who did what to whom. You're not going to let this drop, are you? Well, his name is Danny Janik. He was a drug dealer. Mostly to kids. Batman. Yeah, whenever we had a case against him, which was frequently, for one reason or other, we couldn't make it stick. So he was a better criminal than you were a cop. It's kind of frustrating. Well, we had to play by the rules. He didn't. Why is that cat got your number? First stable relationship of my life. I don't have to tell you that cops, as opposed to dealers, are about following the rules. Well, sometimes you need to even the playing field. Which means what in cop talk? Mike, did you set this guy up? We figured Janik for a series of sales of bad heroin. The kids didn't know what they had, and they were dying. No doubt he was too smart to just keep drugs lying around on the coffee table. Well, you would think. But when Marcellus and I searched this place, we got lucky. We found some stuff. Found it or brought it with you? You planted evidence. He sold drugs. Mike, all day long I hear from my cases how they were set up. And I tell them not to kid themselves. Clearly they're not kidding themselves, are they? There are things I did as a cop that I'm not proud of, but this Janik got what he deserved. That is not your call. I made it my call and I do it again. These people I work with tell me how I look them in the eye when they feel so ripped off knowing that I look the other way when it comes to you. Where does this leave us? Me right here and you at your place. You want me to leave? You're tough. Tougher than me. And you are a 
lucky cat. Why just you? Why isn't he after me? I did the search. You know, I planted the drugs. My testimony helped nail him. So you got any suggestions here, detective? It's Philly PD, they're not even in the game. Not officially, but there is such a thing as unofficial police attention. Oh, man. Give him a little scare. Let him know I'm thinking about him. We get to him before he gets to us. Well, maybe he'll slip up, say something useful. All right. Let him know he's on the radar. That's a first. Did you lose your appetite? Senor Gato, you lucky. Kitty, kitty, kitty. kitty. How could anyone do a thing like that? That poor cat. You think it was him, don't you? Jenny. Yeah, most likely. You let something new in your life and, and it's just gone. I think I can do this. Thanks, honey. Well, I gotta get going. Think I should give Liz a call? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, now Jan is coming at me through my friends. Lucky you don't have many. <laughs> you must be know he's moving closer. There's nothing I can do. If there's anything I can do to help, you don't here. Thanks. Just watch yourself. Right? Sure, but you're going to nail this guy. I got faith. All right, baby. You mind if I borrow your catcher? That kid really admires you, you know? He's kind of like a, like a lap dog or a kitty. Are you trying to find out how far you can push me? You just found out. I have no idea what you're talking about, but that sounded like a threat. It was. I mean, let me say this clearly so you really get it. Whatever came down on you was your own doing. No, no, actually, no. It is your doing, or planting, might be more accurate. No, you messed up your life, and you're doing it again. Believe me. Yeah, yeah sure, man, go. But you can't escape what you are. You're such a hypocrite, man. You know, you're such a hypocrite. Your friends know that? Does Liz know that? Yo, come on. Hey, 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 Liz hey. Again, and I will snap your neck. You all seeing this? This guy is nuts. You don't mess call, with Liz. This guy is nuts. You call 911.
Michael Olshansky? Yeah. This is for you. JJ, come to the office. JJ, to the office, please. A restraining order? Look, I'm still on probation. I can't have it on my record that I'm being slapped in a restraining order. Yeah, I checked into it. He got himself a lawyer. There was some kind of ruckus between you two at Holly's and before that at a restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there were witnesses. They signed papers. Judge ordered you to stay 100 feet away from Janik at all times. Just so you know, I pulled him in. Well, thanks. I don't think he's exactly scared to death. Well, he gave me nothing. So legally, I couldn't hold him. He killed Liz's cat. He put two people in the hospital. You and I know that, but who's going to prove it? Liz Garza, any idea where she is? Well, she stepped away from her desk a few minutes ago. You have an appointment? Uh, no, friend. Just stopped by to check on her. She had a tough night. Oh, the cat. What kind of twisted jerk would do that? That jerk. I told you to stay away from her. You stay away from me. Keep this man away from me. You get the hell out of get here. Officers, I have a restraining order against this man. I didn't lay a finger on you. Judge McCain ordered him to keep a minimum of 100 feet clear of me. This is a public building. I'm meeting a friend. He followed me here. Make this simple. You both leave in different directions. I have a parole meeting. PPN 0279368. And he knew that. I'm not leaving this creep outside my friend's office. It's a public building. Your friend will be fine. I don't care. I am not leaving him anywhere near her. He has to be here. You don't. If you press this, I'm going to have to arrest you. The guy's an ex-con. Which is probably why he has a parole appointment. Give yourself a favor. Take it easy. You're making more trouble than it's worth. I didn't touch him. I hear you, but there's nothing I can do. I, look, look. All right, look, he's screwed up. This guy is dangerous. This guy's screwed up in the head. Let's go. I'm telling you. I, there's nothing I can do. There's going to be trouble. Look, there's going to be no. about you. Well, it's upside down when Janet can get you arrested. Yeah, well, the cops won't even hear my side of the story. Michael Shansky? A thousand bucks. Uh, I'll pay you back every cent. You're damn straight. Liz, this wasn't even supposed to touch your life. Mike. Yeah. I heard they were letting you go. Yeah, thanks to, uh, thanks to my neighbor here. I didn't say thanks, right? It's OK. Want to talk to you a minute? Yeah. Oh, OK. You boys work it out. I'm just, uh, Liz, I'm just going to be a second. Yeah, I'll be outside. So you know this isn't over, right? I'm sensing that, yeah. So what are you going to do? Well, I, you know, I'm wide open. You guys, they want to get involved yet? No, the captain's not putting any manpower on this. Mm -hmm. Jenny's just warming up. So how far across this line are you willing to go? I don't know. The line keeps moving. Well, if I thought this was the end of it, I wouldn't even be thinking about this. Oh, come on. Yeah, but it's not going to end until it's finished with you, everybody you love, me, my family. What, you want to kill him? Is that the line we're talking about crossing? He's boxing you in. I can't. If this was a chess game, you'd be running out of moves. I'm not out of moves. Yet. Hey, 2523, where'd you say this guy would meet me again? Uh, 10th in Indiana. Yeah, I'm staring at it. What's his name? 
Didn't get one. And he asked for me specifically? Yeah, uh, give him five minutes. Okay, never mind. Here he is. Sorry about that. I ran late with some friends. And we know each other? 22nd of Fairmount. It's not much of a ride. Oh, there'll be something in it for you. All right. Or you move away. Setting the table, Mike. You see? You needed a fork, Mike. Are you still pissed at the way I nailed Janik? It's a big deal for me, yeah. Okay. I get that you're mad. Disappointed. Disappointed? about how I handled things. Handle? You're still doing things like that and then rationalizing it. What are you talking about? This vigilante thing you do. The way you play fast and loose with the rules. Really? Your disappointment, it may be real, maybe it's justified, but I get the sense that you're okay with being disappointed. I'm sorry? Well, without that, what would you have to put between us? What? It seemed pretty clear that you and I or more than pals. Or I did until you started working yourself up. Now I'm working myself up? Yeah, you want to dance and you want to, uh, you want to play house. You want to watch Sports Center. But when it might get real, maybe you need a way to put on the brakes. Oh, so now I'm a raving neurotic who hides from intimacy. Well, no one said that you're a raving neurotic. Who creates conflict to avoid closeness. Who's more comfortable with ideas than she is with passion. Oh, and let's not forget the whole ex nun thing. You know, it's just icing on the psychological cake. So you have given this some thought. You know what I love? People who've seen a shrink once or twice and they think they have all the answers about other people's lives. You don't have the answers here, okay? Bet your buck. Uh, Michael Olshansky? Yeah. Sign here, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, note the time. The sender was real specific about the delivery time. Right. What is it? Peace offering from you. That looks like a dime bag. Mm. What are those numbers on it? Looks like a prisoner state ID number. That's Janik's prisoner number. It's just flower. I don't get it. When I planted the heroin in the Janet's place, it was in bags, just like this one. Well, Shansky. I'm the new fish in the cell block. Jamie, what are you talking about? Mike, you can't escape what you are. Jamie? Jamie. What did he say? What Janet said to me. It's not going to be an active prison, unless you can think of someplace else. You know, we could be walking into a trap. Well, if you got other options, I'd like to hear them. You take that way. I'll take this way. Jamie? 
Is he still here? Stop twice. They're doing what they can, but. Oh, I've been calling Liz and there's no answer. She's next. I'm gonna kill the son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Get out of the way! Mike, let me call for backup. No! If he's there and he sees cops, he'll kill her. to where we're heading right now. We're gonna take our time. Yeah, the place gone a little trash since that night that you busted me, Mike. It still feels like home to me. Let her go. You got no reason to hurt her. Hurt her? I'm gonna blow her brains all over you. Put the gun down. Back the hell off or she's no! dead. Get back! Like, she's gonna die. And you're gonna watch. Look, kill me instead, all right? That's what you want anyway. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh -oh. I want you to walk around knowing that the woman that you love is dead. And that you were responsible for her. I want you to suffer. Mistakes were made, I know. You <laughs> bastards took my life from me. Yeah, you're gonna finish the rest of it with this gun. It doesn't matter anymore. Quartet. 
least you got to say goodbye. All oh, Shansky. I never did. <laughs> you think I'm watching this? You turn around. Look at me. You turn around. I can make this quick, or I can make it slow, Mike. You look at me, she dies badly. Turn around, Olshansky! Okay. Badly, Mike. Did you find Jamie? Go ahead and tell him, Mike. When I cried, he asked me if he could call his parents. He said he wanted to tell him that he loved them. Shoulder doing. No big deal. Any update on Jamie? You look bad, Mike. You should go home. I need to be here. Or something should. If anyone's been there for Jamie, it's you. I mean, you've pulled him back from the brink a hundred times. Oh, yeah. That's me. The cavalry. Saving his ass. Telling him what to do. What I never did. To show him respect. That's what he wanted. Mr. Oshensky? Can't see you. Oh, you guys. I know Marcel is there. He would have cut you down, you know, a lot sooner, but yeah, he had to get something to eat. 
I am. What'd you get? Cheese dick. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You could be right. You could? Right? About what? All that Dr. Phil stuff you said about the way I handled certain emotional situations. <sighs> the way I maybe push people. You. Away. I'm afraid, Mike, not stupid. You know, some madman trying to blow my brains out is scary. A relationship shouldn't be. I know the difference. Well, you know, you got the biggest heart of anybody I know. You can afford to risk a little bit of it. Can't you? And you? Yeah, and me. I was thinking about Jamie tonight. He wears his heart on his sleeve. If he had died, at least you could say that. He held nothing back. He went for it. I know. I don't want to stop wasting time. I just want a connection. We connect. Mm. You know, it's getting cold out there. <laughs> 